Welcome to this KD Tips and Tricks screencast. And in this screencast, I want to show you how you can tweak and tune KDE 4 to look and behave more like KDE 3. To do so, the first thing that you will notice is that on my default Neptune installation here, I have desktop icons enabled. Good old desktop icons. To enable them, just right click on your desktop, go to settings and here you can change the layout from desktop to folder view which allows you to have desktop icons then you can set a different location also if you don't like the default desktop folder as location you can set for example your home folder or specific folder here the next thing that you will notice when you come from the KDE free point of view that the kickoff menu, the applications menu, basically changed in KDE 4. So if you click on this, you can see that it is it looks just simply different and behaves different. And if you don't like it, you can change it just by right-clicking on the kickoff menu and click switch to classic menu style, which allows you to see the classic menu as you can see here. The classic menu not only has these, yeah, basically classic view, it also has some settings that you can find under the application launcher menu settings where you can choose different views, just like for example showing recently used application, applications in the list here, you can see the my three last used applications. You can also turn on the computer plugin in here which allows you to see your computer and all your drives that you are that are, that you have connected to your computer. You can just then with one click go to this folder for example. And you have some other options just like setting the icon here. Oh. Setting the icon here, you can set the format of the um menu just like for example in this case it's name and description as you can see here if we go to uh, graphics you can see GNU image manipulation program and image editor as a description behind it and if I want to change this I can uh, change it to description only for example hit apply again go to as you can see the menu changed go to graphics again as you can see here it's now called image editor only and if you hover over it a few seconds it will bring up a tooltip which uh, tells you the application name. You can also set the recently used applications here. Mine is set to 5. You can reduce this to 2 or 3 just like you want to have it. The next thing that we want to do is just change the overall look and feel of our KD4 desktop to yeah, be more like a KD3 desktop. To do so we go to system settings and the system settings we go to application appearance and under style we choose the widget style plastique which uh, kind of reminds of the plastic theme that was introduced with KD3 and this not only allows us to have yeah a look and feel or basically the, the look of KD3 but also a little bit of the feel of KD3 because it has less less uh, images and it uses less uh, cache and uh, is faster than the default um, oxygen or Qt curve or whatever you're using theme for KD4. Also make sure in under fine tuning you set your graphics effects to low display resolution and low CPU which will also reduce the memory and the CPU footprint. Hit apply and now this looks a little bit more familiar. You can also go to your icons in here and go to get new icon theme if you want to set your icon theme to a more KDE-free-ish crystal icon theme. Just search for crystal here and you have the option to download the crystal SVG for KDE4 and then hit, hit apply to have this applied. Also notice that you have the option to change your window decoration because this is the yeah, normal oxygen window decoration, basically a little bit tweaked. If you don't like it, you can go to Workspaces Appearance and then just change to plastic here. Hit apply again. 
and this li looks a lit little bit more gen than uh, KDE 3. There's one last tip. If you want to change the behavior of the indication plugins to not show the progress bar uh, when copying or moving files under the indication or indicator, you can then just change this by going to notifications, right click on it, notification settings, and then just uncheck file transfers and other jobs. Hit apply here and this will make sure that then file transfers just like copying or moving files will open up a new uh, moving or transfer uh, window which shows you the progress in a nice progress bar. So a little bit more KDE free behavior here. So this was everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.